1973, 21 years of age, my body was dying. And I asked God himself, what is it that's causing what I have? And in that moment, I was embraced by this incredible light around me. I was shown principles of life that, that I was to follow. I applied these teachings and within six months, everything went away, never came back. And that was 50 years ago. So for me to be 71 and feel the way I feel, oh my God, it's incredible. I had to file bankruptcy to be successful. And a few months later, you realize your business is going down. And I found a dark place that I could not go anywhere. That breakdown, however, helped me a lot for the next phase of my life. One day I woke up and said to myself, you should write a check of the amount of money you like to earn. Don't think about it, do it fast. So the first thing came to my mind, a million dollars. A significant date, my birthday. When? 1995. So I put the date on May 26, 1995, a million dollars. It took me 18 years for the check to become reality. It's important that someone uh, wants to change their life. Because if you don't want, you're not gonna do it. The first step is to want to do it. And then the second step is to decide to do it. Everybody has their gift, right? Everyone has this genius, whatever that might look like. Everyone has their unique strength. Everyone has their superpower. Everyone has something to offer. And I think it is our responsibility as the human race, as brother and sister, to literally just help people, have a hearing of what they need. You don't know if you're one door hold away, thank you, one please, one I love you away from pulling a person off a ledge. There's an experience that we've perhaps left behind that has educated us and created awareness within us so that the next move that we make is elevated or educated, thoughtful, intentional, purposeful, and it creates that alignment and that peaceful balance that we're all seeking. It doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, to survive and to succeed, you have to humble yourself, accept what's available, but don't stay there.